Okay, just got into the Alza. It was super hot. Oh, oh, super hot. Anyway, let's go. Okay, this is a media test car. So of course it will be the full spec. It is the most expensive one at 75,000. The cheapest one is only 63,000 with the same engine, same transmission and without the other stuff. Hello boss. Thank you. Thank you. And I always say, for honest cars like these, get the lower spec version. Oh, suspension is very good. 63,000. And you have a good deal because it has the same engine. It's going to accelerate the same. It's going to drive the same. You don't get probably the body kits. Oh my God. Okay, I forgot. You don't get the body kits. You don't get probably the... Uh, safety systems, lane keep, lane keep assist and all that uh, you don't need all that, okay? you really don't need all that and I'm not sure the cheapest version whether it has this uh, LCD cluster or not but this one is pretty easy to read, pretty nice material wise it's actually pretty decent it's a plastic fest here but you get all types of plastic okay? you get this one with a unique imprint and then this one is another imprint this is made in brown color this is black this is silver color this is gloss black very nice it has a combination there's a cup holder here what's inside here oh blades this is a cup holder as well this one is retractable this one is fixed steering wheel feels chunky on the hand you see some stitching over here but there isn't any touch point that remotely resembles leather. I see the stitch. I'm supposed to call it leather, but it completely feels like plastic to me. Probably it's leather, but it's nice to see the stitch. But there's, it's completely hard. There isn't even a thin layer of foam inside just to plush it up. All right? So there are no soft touch anything so you know this is a budget car but as I demonstrated earlier on when I come out from the junction what is different from this over its predecessor this is not a lightweight special this car feels substantial and then you have an engine that doesn't have enough power to move it and then you imagine you fill up filled it up with your family in the car it is going to be slow yes this is a slow car this is a city car this is one of the honest products that i feel from Perodoa, whereby they give you a small engine it's not going to be fast but you, the things that you can do in this car you can ferry your entire family you can fold the seats down at the back there and do your business you can just about do anything with the seats down you can do the kind of loading capacity like a pickup truck except the height part all right um yeah if you really really have to buy just one car for your entire family that serves all your needs put aside used cars this is a bargain but uh it's no longer okay it used to be 50 over thousand for the manual now you don't have manual you start from sixty three thousand. And it's not bad looking compared to the previous Alza. The previous Alza has that kind of uh, extended hatchback kind of look. This one now has like a baby MPV look, which I think people will appreciate. Now, I heard some rumors saying that in Perodua's showroom, they are not to park the Alza next to the Arus because at 10% cheaper, this car does everything the Arus does probably better so and it's 10 percent cheaper so if you're thinking of the uh, arus you buy the alza all right it is a better car it is cheaper 
it is oh the old Auzar. The old Auzar is nimble, you know. I mean, even though it's long, but it's lightweight and nimble. This one feels heavy. This one feels as though you are in a bigger car, but the engine is still that 1.5, so it will struggle a bit. Not a bit. It struggles. Okay, but. Even if you drive like this, every day hearing the engine revving, how much fuel are you going to burn? All right. So if you just want your own car, you have your family members, they have other cars, don't buy this. You buy a Myvi, 50,000. It is much better, much nicer, right? Much more lifestyle. Uh, but if you can only afford one car for your family, this is it. It does everything except fast okay it does everything and um, another tip for people who drive this car let's say even though your car is slow you are the the kind of fast driver okay and then you drive on the highway in the fast lane with your throttle planted and then in front of you you see a let's say a myvi or a vios okay the car is obviously going slower than it could be and then both of you are above the speed limit anyway and you don't want to go in because after you slow down it takes a lot of time for you to build back up speed wait for someone from behind let's say if it's a BMW or it's a Mercedes or whatnot go in let that guy push this guy away then you come back out it takes less effort than you trying to tailgate the other car which I have witnessed many of you trying your very best and to no success because they won't let you overtake because they know your car is slower even though you are a faster driver all right so make use of a more expensive car coming from behind let him clear the road for you and then you try your best to follow him if you couldn't follow him other cars come back out then you wait for another person to help you chase away the traffic all right that's just an additional tip uh, I've been sitting here my foot my I'm five foot eleven this part of the car, this plastic, there is an unnecessary molding that bulges out and it sort of push into my knees, which makes it rather uncomfortable. And so I have to, you know, tuck my leg in so that my knees are higher so that it doesn't touch this part. Later I'll show you the closer part of it. Uh, yeah, overall, if your daily commute it's like what the Japanese do in the Japanese city. Imagine in front of you is all K cars, Econo boxes, Honda, step wagons, N box, and that kind of stuff. Daihatsu, don't know what. All those small little cars, and then you are just one of them just rolling by. Fine, perfectly fine. Okay? If you stay in towns like Tamilo, Mentakap, and all that, in just your town area drives, okay. In KL, we have a lot of highways, you jam, 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 you pay toll, bam, you need to blast up SPE, Duke, Souk, Suke or Souk, LDP and all that, and then you will struggle a bit. Yeah, that's how it sounds like. It will still pick up speed, right? With time, with enough time, you will still pick up speed. And uh, I think the car is loud, just how the lady was looking at me. <laughs> I think she can hear me coming up from the hills. Anyway, I really like the suspension uh, for a small car, for a car not intending to be a pretentious SUV like the Arus. This ride is pretty good. Going through the bumps is pretty good. And I don't hear much from the outside even though this is not high speeds. Let me open the window. All right, let me close it back. Or I can open your side. Oh, sorry, the mirror, the camera. Okay, can you switch off the aircon behind the chair? Okay, thank you. Sound test, man. Okay. It's actually pretty quiet, apart from the rear aircon's blasting just now. The whole car just feels way more heavier than the previous one I think for good reasons all right it needs to pass modern crash tests 
Oh, the turning circle is fantastic! <gasps> Amazing turning circle! It's super tight. You can turn the wheels a lot. Just one turn. I don't even need that junction just now. I could have done a U-turn here. So easy. So, yep. Later, I will go through the interior. And if you're thinking of buying this, just go ahead. I think it's not not bad looking. The car is, doesn't look bad at all. Alright, it looks like those low slung family MPVs from the 2010s era. The Mazda 8 MPV, the uh, Honda Odyssey. Honda Odyssey is more low, low riding. You know, this one I actually sit higher. So it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, I sit almost as high as the GLC next to me. A little bit lower. Yeah, way taller than these cars. So I think this is a good height, a good ride height. Uh, should you buy the car and soundproof it? I don't think you need to. It's already pretty well soundproof. Basically, the whole car just feels like... It feels like you have a 2.5 engine in this car, but it was stolen by somebody else and they put back a 1.5 for you. And then it, you feel very lethargic whenever you need to accelerate or when you really want proper acceleration it's gonna blow your eardrums off yeah okay other than that it's okay la okay la let's not go in let's just park here and uh, take a look at the insides of this car okay am I blocking any traffic I suppose I am. Yeah, I might just leave it here. Cheers! Okay, this is how it looks like from the driver's seat. Like I mentioned just now, it's all plastic, hard plastics. The hardest types where the knuckle actually hurts when you knock it. See all these folding lines? Alright, they do a lot of these just to, just to make the interior match the exterior. Okay, it's a good styling practice. I like the combination of colors. You see, this is black, this is painted silver. This is brown. Interesting, but it looks good. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look as gloomy as those days, you know. Just everything just in one swath of black gray kind of plastic. Door bins are pretty long, segregated, so you can put bottles, bottles, smart tag, wallet. This one, you can put your wallet, you can put your phone, you can put your stuffs here. You can also use it as a handle. This one almost looks like it's a soft touch material until you put your hands there. No, it's hard plastics again. Basically, everything is hard plastic. There is a reason for it, okay? They cut costs so that they can sell it to you cheaper, all right? The windows are massive. Let's see if they go all the way down from the front. Do they go all the way down from the back? Yes, fantastic, all right? One touch up as well, you get visors, but this is the high spec one. There's an SRS airbag over here, there's airbags on the seats, airbags here. And this one, this one feels very, very, very cheap. But then this is not an expensive car, but this feels distinctly cheaper than the rest of the car together. This feels like they bought this from a chop shop and replace it here. Yeah, this one as well. It is extremely cheap. Okay, I will be surprised if this thing costs more than five ringgit from their suppliers. Okay, yes, I'm not joking, but of course, how much they sell you is up to them, lah. Huh? <laughs> uh, this is nice, nice. Okay, um, the screen, lovely, looks lovely, looks modern, not laggy. I'm not expecting very extravagant graphics, but at least it's not laggy. Refresh rate is not very high but they did the graphics to match the refresh rate so it's, it's, it's okay okay I'll explore it but I, I guess there's nothing much you just hook on your phone uh, you see Apple CarPlay Android Auto wow right even an Aston Martin DBS Superleggera don't get Apple CarPlay Android Auto right uh, the hazards they don't light up here even though they light up there see there's another box there's another box saved Okay, <laughs> this is a two din behind. This is just a faceplate. This thing, I know the styling, it looks good on photos, but I don't believe there's anything back there. So, Parodoa or Daihatsu, if there's nothing back there, just hollow it out 
turn it into a compartment all right this is not a sports car not a luxury car just turn it to a compartment you know cup holders or something okay that's the key this is how the key looks like okay this is uh it looks rubberized but it's not looks like a compartment but it's not but you can put some stuff over here nothing much here 12 volt sockets door lock and unlock button that has got to be the largest door lock and unlock button in the world one of it basically i think this part of the molding they could have done more to it instead of just trying to style it up to look expensive on photos that's what they're trying to do but if they went uh, more down to earth just normal like that and then this start button put it over here there's obviously space over here for this and then this one turn it to a compartment you don't even need a lid don't even need to waste money for a lid just a big compartment for people to chuck things there because that's how this car was supposed to be used okay this is big enough not super big but just about enough you see the part with the door molding they molded this part out so you can put your arm and then you can stuff things in there actually the door is thinner than it is all right air back over here and down here you have the auto start stop all right parking sensors automatic braking and then traction control and uh automatic headlights is it i don't know i suppose so Okay, this one is the top spec, which I don't think you need to buy this. Just buy the regular one, save the money, okay? But if it is not a burden for you, then you go ahead, okay? Because it's not too big of a price. Now, look at this part. This is a little compartment over here. I put some stuffs here, but there are no ports or anything. This molding, this sharp edges here, it's just about on my kneecap and makes it very uncomfortable for me. All right, maybe put a cushion here or something. The seats are alright. I don't expect these are uh, Napa leather or whatnot, right? And uh oh been a while since we see a car with this. Okay, overall the seats are okay, space is okay. I just this part is pretty uncomfortable. Very hard. If they didn't mold if they didn't fold it, they fold the line so it's sharp. See? Wait, let me turn on the lights. Okay. It's this one. They, when they mold it, they fold it so it's sharp on my knees. If it's just a flat surface, it's a, it will be a lot better. Okay, let's go to the rear. Unlocked. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, immediately what I felt is the seats. These are the type where... They will look very spacious on photos, but actually you need to push them up to use them. I think this is a big drawback for a second row seats. All right, these are uh, obviously, I think I should be able to, even though I do not know how <laughs> to. Oops, there's nothing. Does it do anything? Ooh, ooh. there we go now you can sleep and uh, these are pretty interesting these are to drive the air downwards they only can be imagined or invented by Japanese all right they're very smart in doing all these things in the independent aircon controls on top the middle seat belt is here then you can lie down like that Okay, how many how many cars at this price point allows you to do this in the car as a second row passenger? All right, I think this qualifies as Grab Premium more than Hyundai Starrex. Would you agree with me, Grab? People who buy this car, do you agree with me? I think this this is more comfortable than oh, the vanity lights don't work. <laughs> no idea why. Should work. Anyway. Yeah, this is more comfortable than a Hyundai Star X and I get three pointed seat belts. Star X I don't get, I get a lap belt. Okay, here you get two USB ports, 2.1 amp, cup holder, just one. Oh, cup holders here as well, cup holders here as well. And when you fold these seats down, you can, you can hum the car. Yep, a lot of space for you to just do that. 
more space than the Taycan, definitely. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, let's shift the second row to a reasonable position. Reasonable as in, I still have enough knee room. This guy, oh my God. This needs some effort. Okay. Oh, that's too much space for them. Not fair. Okay, then back a bit. Balance it out. My turn. Okay, now let's try. Okay, the doors don't open 90 degree. It would be nice if they do. Now, what do I do now? I push this. Okay, does this go up? Ooh, very smart. Very clever. Okay, lovely. Let's sit at the back here. Oh, the seat back. Let me see if I can. Beautiful. Okay, guys, see this. Oh, okay. Just now it was like this, so I was like a bit, ouch. But, let me turn on the lights. When I pull this down, notice the seat base. The seat base comes up a bit, so it angles it out. So I'm gonna do it on my side as well. Okay, and then push the, push the headrest up. If not, it won't even be usable. Now at this mode, there is barely any boot space left, okay? Probably that of a, I don't know, two, 200 plus liter, but you can put school bags and all that, okay? And then look at my feet, size 11 and a half feet. There's room for me to slot underneath it. I get three pointed seat belts at the back. What else do I get? I get a place to put my wallet, my mobile phone, or bottle, and I even get a 12 volt socket. Okay, not a USB, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, pretty all right. There's a little bulge here. Okay, and I still get a little window to look out from if I'm a kid. So as a seven seater, the third row can perfectly sit a five foot eleven adult like me. One seven nine cm, and uh, that's why I think if this is your one and only car, right? Okay, now I need to pull this up again and push this, and then this one will bounce up. Japanese, they are best in doing this type of stuff. And then going in and out is not too impossible, but it's all right. Yeah, for 60 over 1,000. As the one and only car, why not? All right, exterior wise, pretty good looking. It's not an ugly car and it doesn't look like a, like a cut price version kind of car. I mean, it's stylized a bit. I mean, of course, LED lights and all that. But yeah, this is the new Alza. Cheers.